He did what he had to do. Um, we definitely can get a rematch for sure. Gervonta Davis called and Isaac Cruz answered. Interestingly, he answered with a brutal knockout warning for the 30 Zero champion. Yo no me cierro, como lo he dicho, yo aquí estoy para pelearle ahora en 140 y demostrarle que estamos igual de fuerte. And now, Gervonta Davis has fired back at him, hinting fans on his readiness for their long-awaited rematch. Gente de, de Los Ángeles, y por eso exigimos la revancha contra Gervonta Davis. We want the rematch with Gervonta Davis. Immediately after his big win against Frank Martin, Gervonta Davis reawakened an old rivalry, and it was one fans had been clamoring for. What rematch do you want, Pitbull or Ryan? An interviewer asked him which fight he wanted next, and he said every one of them. He was further asked which rematch he would favor between a rematch against Isaac Pitbull Cruz or one against Ryan Garcia. He responded, both. What rematch do you want, Pitbull or Ryan? Asked when he'd return, and against whom, Davis replied, I just want to get back in the gym and stay focused. But Lomachenko, Shakur Stevenson, and Pitbull Cruz are on my radar. Yeah, he looked, uh, he looked the sharpest last fight. Um, Speaking specifically about Isaac Cruz, he said, He looked sharp in his last fight. He did what he had to do. We definitely can get a rematch for sure, hopefully sooner or later. He did what he had to do. Um, we definitely can get a rematch for sure. On hearing this, the enthusiastic Isaac Pitbull Cruz fired knockout warnings to Ryan Garcia. This wasn't the first time he was calling out Ryan Garcia. Gente de, de Los Angeles, y por eso exigimos la revancha contra Gervonta Davis. We want the rematch with Gervonta Davis. Uh, these fans have been great. Just last year, after his victory over Ramirez, Isaac Cruz called out Gervonta Davis, who was present by the ringside, and spoke about his wish for a possible rematch against him. Great, and that's why, uh, you know, they came out and I, what, what I promised is a death already. Right where Gervonta Davis was, an interviewer questioned if he would want a rematch against him. And Tank Davis replied, if the money is right. Hey, bro. hey would he see him again or not? Huh? The money right? Hey, hey, what's up? hey, what's up with you and Ryan going back and forth? However, with Gervonta Davis now more willing to face every of the best fighters in and around his division, including Ryan Garcia, Devin Haney, Vasily Lomachenko, Teofimo Lopez, and Isaac Cruz, Pitbull has now told him to expect a knockout should they lock horns in the ring for the second time. I'll be happy to fight Gervonta Davis. I owe him a knockout win. This time, we'll both train well and be at our very best. I want it as soon as possible, Isaac Cruz said. However, Gervonta Tank Davis isn't only a warrior in the ring. He's also very skillful in throwing damaging punches with his keypads. He soon followed up Isaac Cruz's warnings with a cryptic tweet on X, Say no more. Nothing can be more intriguing for fans than this, as it's a fight the fans want to see. In fact, it's a fight Isaac Cruz has always wanted to see. World Boxing Association champion and Mexico City native Isaac Pitbull Cruz had once vowed to make his country proud and solidify his status in the star-studded 135-pound division when he faced Giovanni Cabrera in a WBC and WBA lightweight title eliminator that served as the Errol Spence versus versus Terence Crawford co-main event. <laughs> I am ready to put Mexico on top once again and show that I am meant to go up against the best, said Cruz. I'm making sure that I'm working harder and smarter and making the most of everything I do in the gym. It's not just about how hard you hit. You gotta be smart and have your punches connect in the way that you meant them to land all along. Uh, it was a nice fight. It, it probably wasn't uh, what the people wanted to see since he was like. It may sound cliche, but it truly is about dedication, hard work and discipline. Being just a regular fighter is taking the easy way out. Saying no to a glass of water or to being with friends is hard. What we do is beautiful, but it's hard. If you want to be an elite athlete, you have to learn how to live with sacrifice. Coming from a family full of professional boxers, including his father and grandfather, Cruz is no secret to the sacrifices his chosen profession requires at the highest level. Uh, what the people wanted to see since he was like uh, relentless to uh, actually getting to the, into the boxing. Although he laments the time missed with his wife and children, it acts as motivation for him to perform at his best. The hardest thing I ever had to do was that I had to tell my wife and kids. Today, I can't take you for ice cream. 
said Cruz. Mentally to uh, actually get into the, into the boxing match. And I mean, thank God that the... I'm fortunate that I train close to them, but I still miss them a lot. At the end of the day, it only makes it more important that I make the most of these sacrifices and fight to my full ability. I fight at my best because of the love and support I receive from my family. The 26-year-old Cruz has become a fan favorite amongst the passionate Mexican fans due to his all-action style that calls back to many of boxing's most memorable Mexican champions and contenders. Is it, are you surprised that it was a split decision? Although he's competed at lightweight throughout his career that dates back to 2015, he has no plans of leaving the division and hopes to continue to develop his relationship with fans against the weight class's other stars. I'm totally focused on staying at 135 pounds because it's where I feel strongest and most comfortable, said Cruz. Vegas, I mean, he wasn't the exception and he doesn't know, actually doesn't know what the judges were looking at. I just want to give everyone watching a great show. I've made a connection with the fans because I showed that I'm not afraid to fight the best. I have no fear, just resolve. Since giving unbeaten superstar Gervonta Tank Davis a tough test in their December 2021 clash, Cruz has set his sights on a rematch against the WBA lightweight title holder. I want the American fans to know me as well as the Mexican fans, so I have to go up against the very best said Cruz. First, I want that rematch with Gervonta Davis no matter what. After that, I want to face Devin Haney and Vasil Lomachenko. In 30 professional fights spanning 10 years, Tank has steamrolled through the competition with 25 knockouts. Davis's toughest test to date came in 2021 when he faced Isaac Pitbull Cruz. Here. He's not showing any type of in this first round. The head movement is important for him, and you don't to, but to find a way to knock you out. And a Cruz being previous. When Isaac Cruz stepped in on just over one month's notice to face Gervonta Tank Davis, many fans and media members felt Davis was going to face a much easier test than his originally planned bout with Rolando Romero. It's hard to imagine that was incorrect after Cruz was able to give Davis almost all he could handle for 12 rounds at Los Angeles' Staples Center before Davis was able to pull out a narrow unanimous decision win. He's going to wow. force Tank Davis in shorter. Hides the throw and that's how... Guy's not, he's not throwing much punches. Oh, Davis was able to land many of his trademark power shots in a rare role as the taller man in the fight, but even as his heavy hooks and uppercuts landed, Cruz never appeared hurt. That may have been a product of Davis suffering a hand injury midway through the fight. I hurt my left hand in probably the sixth round, but I've got to throw it, Davis said after the fight. Trying to make an effort. He is. He is. But you got to give it to Davis, too. Uh, uh, you know, I, we talk I have to go get it checked out. It's shaking, but it is what it is. That's what comes in the sport. From the opening bell, Cruz fought as he almost always does, bullying his way forward to close the distance and keep his opponent from getting comfortable. Oh, oh there he goes. left here in the fourth. Cruz has had a nice start. Davis, a traditionally slow starter, made the necessary adjustments to Cruz's style beginning around the third round, dialing in with the uppercuts and using movement to keep Cruz from getting inside. As the rounds wore on, whether a product of Cruz's chin, Davis's hand or both, it was clear Cruz was not going anywhere and he began to turn the momentum of the fight his way, pulling increasingly close on the scorecards as both men continued to land clean, powerful strikes. There's again the uppercut in the straight left by Davis. Really well, and, stop, and stop. that is a punch. Davis was able to do just a little better in just enough rounds to earn the victory, including in what turned out to be the most important round of the fight, picking up round 12 in a spot that likely saved him from a draw as the official scorecards read 116, 112, 115, 113, 115, 113. Edging out the victory kept Davis in a solid position in the lightweight division. Davis and that left uppercut, Cruz Davis lurking. <laughs> Davis entered the ring a little bit more, We're just waiting for Cruz to make that. After dismissing the idea of a rematch with Cruz with a simple, hell no, Davis was asked whether he'd stay at lightweight or move back up to super lightweight for his next fight. Whatever the best opportunity is out there for me, I'm here for it, man. Davis said before being asked who in the lightweight division he'd most want to fight next. All these guys are easy workers. They're easy work, man. Easy work. I'm the top dog. 
Cruz was only the second man to take Davis to the scorecards in Davis's professional career. The decision victory ended a streak of 16 consecutive stoppage wins for Davis. For his part, Cruz did call for a rematch, claiming to have deserved the win. Well, Cruz had good moments in this round, and there. While a rematch seemed unlikely, Davis made it clear that Cruz's gutsy effort had made an impression. He's a definite warrior, Davis said. Even though he didn't get the win, a star was born tonight. Davis edged Cruz in total shots landed, 133 to 121. The 121 landed punches by Cruz were the most ever by a Davis opponent. Utilizing the range and all. When he stepped in, Davis chose to throw that uppercut, barely missed. Davis averages a lot, but a little bit. Immediately after the fight and the following months afterward, Davis maintained that he had no interest in fighting Cruz again. But later on, the Baltimore-bred knockout artist is changing his stance. I'll fight him again. I will stop him next time. And how can people say I lost this fight? Oh my God. I did a lot of nonsense in this fight though for sure, Davis said in a pair of deleted posts on Twitter. The Mexican fighter Cruz has called for a sequel several times while blasting through Eduardo Ramirez and Yuriorkis Gamboa in 2022. Davis knocked out Rolando Romero in May, and he's preparing to fight Hector Luis Garcia in Jan 7 on Showtime pay-per-view and has already agreed to fight Ryan Garcia later in 2023. As at the time, the 29-year-old Davis recently declared he wanted to fight a total of three times in 2023. His plans couldn't come to fruition as his only match was the one against Ryan Garcia before his stint in prison. After his latest win and his new fight deal, it is hopeful that Gervonta Davis includes Pitbull Cruz in his plans, as a rematch between both fighters is one to make pay-per-view records. While Gervonta Davis and Floyd Mayweather went through their back and forth, Gervonta Davis took aim at Floyd Mayweather, insisting his new fight deal has earned him more than the legend's $200 million deal with Showtime in 2013. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, oh, that's, that's, he has a part that's of deal. He, he don't know about that yet, mm. but that's bigger than his deal. He said to Cigar Talk, I'm at the point where I passed him and I'm doing it at a young age. When Floyd Mayweather was 29, he wasn't doing it like me, you'll see, he added. That six, seven fight deal that I was talking about, that's bigger than Mayweather's six fight deal that Floyd had with Showtime in 2013, and I'm just releasing it here. Bigger than his deal. Damn. Wow. And y'all just, and I'm just releasing it. <laughs> that's exclusive, that. that's yeah. exclusive. Bigger than Floyd deal? Yeah. And it's looking like Davis wants to fix all the matches right away, as he was quick to jump onto Vasily Lomachenko after his knockout win over Cambosos. On Vasily Lomachenko, Bob Arum is optimistic. The bout can finally happen sometime in November. After restarting negotiations with Davis's reps, PBC, following his stunning eighth round knockout win against Frank Martin on Saturday night. Interesting, in the press conference, you said like, I had a lot of built up energy. You know, yeah, I was locked up. Yeah, I went yeah, yeah. We have been talking to the PBC people all along. We will absolutely resume conversations next week. It won't be the start of the negotiations. Aram told Boxing News on Friday, Carl Moretti of Top Rank has been talking to Louis DeCubis of PBC for a couple of weeks now. Hopefully we'll put it together for some time in November. Nobody is dragging anybody to the table. So when that happens, then the suits sit down. Both sides know it's a big fight, which means they're looking forward to earning a lot of money and they're both competitive guys. He then concluded, I'm optimistic that the negotiations will go well. You can never guarantee that, but PBC are professionals, and my guys are professionals, and they'll work it out. Davis has already made it clear that he wants to box the Ukrainian superstar next. Ahead of his fight with Martin, one boxing fan posted on social media, Gervonta Davis would never fight Vasyl Lomachenko, to which Davis replied, he's after Frank, let me get Frank first. You know, I know networks, you know, you got ESPN obligations, Amazon. Does this one of those, those fights like Wilder Fury that have to be kind of co-promoted? It's quite interesting to see that Gervonta Davis, even before his knockout win against Frank Martin, had booked Vasily Lomachenko. However, we hope that he has some space for Pitbull Cruz as well. The Ukrainian lightweight legend was dominant as he finally made his return a year on from his defeat to Devin Haney. Lomachenko has often been criticized for starting slow, but against Cambosos, he got off to a quick start before his 11th round finish. The 36-year-old let his hands go early with several fast flurries that snapped back Cambosos' head as he advanced. The Australian home favorite gave a valiant effort, but was ultimately overmatched. Like Vasily Lomachenko, 
Pitbull Cruz also became a world champion this year. In fact, there might not be a more popular champion crowned in 2024 than Isaac Pitbull Cruz, who scored an emphatic eighth round stoppage of the man many love to hate, Rolando Romero. Antagonist Rolly Romero embraces it, and says, but he favors Cruz due to his fighting style by Davis. Cruz took Davis to 12 round distance to withstand. Cruz from Mexico City, snared the WBA's junior welterweight title with a dominant display, not allowing Romero to get settled, pouring on the pressure from the first bell before closing the show in style. Cruz, February 1st, 26, 18 KOs, came out bombing, arcing overhand rights and swiping away with left hooks. Romero, now 15, 2, 13 KOs, was moving as the Pitbull chance filled the T-Mobile arena. With around a minute left in the round, a left hook buckled Romero's legs and he was all at sea. The crowd lost its mind, but he made it through. Sat in his corner between rounds, Romero was doused with water, but it looked like he needed something stronger. Oh, I, I know you mentioned that, but, but I tries to hold down. Now Romero at distance trying to go to the body. Hurt in round one, but did not go down. But Cruz plays, but he has power. Cruz was clubbing away to start the second, investing to the body and then going upstairs. And Romero was trying to keep it long but Cruz was bullying his way in, loading up and letting them go. They traded right hands to end round two. Through the third, Raleigh had done well to steady the ship. Power shot hand. Raleigh now he's holding on again. What did you think? Counter. He's, he's landing the right hand lead against Cruz. He's having trouble fighting him. Yeah, he said he wasn't gonna set. The crowd booed, indicating he was doing something right. If the crowd was frustrated, that probably meant Cruz was too. But with a minute to go in the session, Cruz cranked up the pace after Raleigh had been guilty of staying on the inside too long. Cruz did not need to be invited to work in the pocket and he duly obliged. The challenger burst through with a left to the body and a left upstairs in the fourth and he rocked Romero this way and that with a follow-up barrage as the chants of Mihaiko reverberated loudly around the arena. Romero was warned by referee Thomas Taylor for holding in the fifth, and Taylor then deducted a point from the title holder for the same infraction later in the session. Romero said beforehand that he felt he had the power to keep Cruz off him, but Pitbull clearly disagreed. Cruz continued to surge forward, thudding in a straight right as Romero moved off to his left. As the fight progressed, Cruz wasn't operating at the same frenetic pace he had started with, but he still was able to land a left hook and a right hand. Then, just as Romero started to have some success with his right hand, Cruz cannoned a right uppercut off his chin and Romero was in dire straits. The title holder from Las Vegas was groggy and desperately tried to hold, but he also bravely tried to fire back to get Cruz off him. The doctor allowed Romero to come out for the eighth, though there was an air of inevitability about where the fight was headed. Barely standing on the seventh round, can Romero survive? Romero retreating, eats another left and right for the challenger, eats suck. Romero would likely have welcomed the break when the action was paused to fasten tape around one of Cruz's gloves, but as the fighters reunited in the center of the ring, Cruz crashed through Romero's gloves with more lefts and rights. The referee had seen enough after 56 seconds of the eighth had elapsed. The T-Mobile arena came unglued. Romero had lost his title, and while he had shown courage, he could not stem the avalanches of hooks that eventually curtailed his night. Pitbull had received a rousing ovation, both when the fans caught sight of him in the entrance tunnel before making his ring walk and once again when he stepped between the ropes. Neither came close to his victory and his pledge to be a champion for a long time, having called out the likes of Devin Haney and Gervonta Davis, the latter of whom beat him via close decision back in December 2021. I was prepared for this, said Cruz. I wasn't here to just fight. I was here to terminate him and make him eat everything he said. Cruz, worried about what I am not here just as a very dangerous fighter. I now have a title that's backing me up. For the 26-year-old Cruz, it's his first world title in what was also his first fight in the 140 pounds division. The crowd in Las Vegas was loudly and heavily backing the Mexican warrior, who said he wants to face the top names at 140, which could be tough given that none of them are with premier boxing champions at the moment, though that could change. Referee intervenes, Sark Cruz, a new 140 pound champion. 
For Romero, this was a second clear indicator that he is simply miles off of the level of the sport's true top fighters. And you really have to wonder what he does next. He does get attention easily and can draw interest, but the in-ring skill set just is not there at the upper levels of the sport. CompuBox had Cruz landing 129 of 354, 36% total punches, and 121 of 319, 38% power shots. Romero was tallied at 85 of 341, 25% total, and 71 of 187, 38% on power punches. And that's all for now. What are your thoughts on a possible rematch between Isaac Pitbull Cruz and Gervonta Tank Davis? Let's know what you think in the comments section. For the very best updates on news, moments, events, and actions in the world of boxing, stay connected with us by subscribing to our YouTube channel, and don't forget to turn on notifications to get notified when we drop quality contents like this. Until next time, peace out.